My name is Monica Gleberman, and you're listening to Silence On Set Podcast. On today's podcast, we're at the premiere of a new romantic comedy called Ticket to Paradise. The film is about a man and his ex-wife who raced to Bali, Indonesia to stop their daughter from marrying a seaweed farmer. As they desperately try to sabotage the wedding, the bickering duo soon find themselves rekindling old feelings that once made them happy together. So to start us off talking about the film, here's George Clooney and Julia Roberts. I play a Latin lover. Um, no? I play a French school teacher. <laughs> it's a very different film than I actually thought we were making. It's weird. And we're just old ex, ex-husband and ex-wife, you know, don't, are mad at each other. We can't give a straight answer to anything. I love George. I just love him. I love everything about him. I think he's just a, a first-class human being, and I... Just wait for it. It's coming. I, no, it's coming. No. It's coming. No. Now she's. We're really, really good friends, yeah. and it's fun to be able to work together. Uh, dancing together. The dancing was, really, was yeah, fun. Yeah, good. Because we actually humiliated all the young actors. <laughs> we literally humiliated. They were. They were literally watching, going, "Oh my god!" It's the quietest any of them have ever, ever been. been. Yeah, it was fun. Anytime you can embarrass, you know, young people, yeah. do it. Because uh, the company, working title that produced this film gives a free car to anyone who goes to see Don't, the film. Do you know the trouble you're free causing car. right now? You just you buy your ticket and then you take it to any car dealership no, just in, anywhere in England. Because we did our best to make people laugh and have a good time at the movies. And you get a free car. And you have to buy your own ticket and buy your own dinner and get in your own car and drive yourself home, hopefully smiling. <laughs> Up next is Caitlin Deaver. It feels incredible to be here for the world premiere in London. I feel so grateful to be able to celebrate our movie here and um, I haven't been back in a while and it feels always, it's always good to come to London but um, especially with our whole cast it's um, it's really nice to be able to celebrate tonight. I mean it's ridiculous, it's absolutely insane. I still am shocked by it. I I saw, I, I mean I was coming from the airport and I saw a billboard of Ticket to Paradise And it's still shocking to me that I am in this movie with them and that they play my parents. So it's it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. So many things. I think that in terms of uh, my my character, she's someone that really puts a lot of expectations on herself and pressure and um, takes this trip to Bali and realizes and meets this man named Gade and realizes that maybe she was looking at life maybe the wrong way or just was able to like change her perspective because of him and um, and she discovers a lot about herself which I really loved a lot. Being on an island with George Clooney and Julia Roberts, I mean, I mean there's so many things, it was so much fun. I, I, I can't even tell you how, how much of a dream, dream this movie was. Fans can expect to it really just have the best time, have a really, really good laugh, um, to just have a lot of fun and maybe a little bit of emotion, um, which is a good thing. And I think this is a movie that everybody's really been needing for a while. Up next is Billy Lord. I am so excited to be at this world premiere. It's actually so surreal and crazy and just, I am stoked. I, that I, I said stoked means I'm really stoked. Ren is Lily's best friend, and I like to call her a wild ride of a character. She really goes with the flow of everything and is just so excited that Lily is following her heart. And she was just so much fun to play. I really got to like improv and mess around. And my motto on the movie was more is more, because it always is. (laughs) I think I silent screamed. I think I was like, wait are we sure we're sending this email to the right person and they were like yes it's for you and I was like wait are we sure it's me like are you sure like you didn't spell something wrong like this is not right it was just so 
exciting and insane and surreal and then getting to work with them was even better than the email was and the email was insane. Caitlin is one of my closest friends in real life so to get to play her best friend on screen is just an absolute dream. I am obsessed with her and we got even closer on this movie. I'm obsessed with her family, I'm obsessed with her, I'm obsessed with her dog. I just love everything about that girl. She is heavenly. Well they should expect some beautiful scenery, some beautiful people. I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about those movie stars and Caitlin Deaver and just a really good time. It's really escapist and fun and something we really have needed for a while and don't get that often. And here's Ol Parker. It's insane to be here in a few world premiere. It's a thrill, it's exciting and brilliant and the guys came over and that's amazing. So, um, and it's a good night and the weather's great, it's all good. You beg, you beg, you kneel down to get this cast together, you do nothing but beg. Yeah, no, I wrote them a letter pleading with them and I did the really terrible thing. I wrote to them both at once, saying I was offering it to both of them, which you never do because if one of them turns it down, the other one will. But thankfully they both relented and said yes, they took pity on it. It was written for a big screen. I, I mean, it's lovely to get people out because there's nothing like laughing in a room with lots of people. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's got gorgeous movie stars and hopefully nice location and it's widescreen and beautiful. But in the end, there's no feeling like sitting in a room with a lot of people laughing. And comedies just don't work as well in your sitting room or on a plane. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to the cast from Tickets to Paradise talk about their new film at their premiere. The movie comes out October 21st nationwide, so make sure you go and check it out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're updated on all of our latest podcasts and head over to our YouTube channel, hit subscribe, so you're updated on all of our video content.